and welcome to my art studio. That's so funny, the sun just came out right as I sat down, but hello, if you don't know me, I am Vicky, I am an artist, and this is my studio. I've been in this space for about three months now, and I just realized I kind of wanted to do a video dedicated to the space. It is this little cubicle, if you will, uh, that is all my own within this like conglomerate of studios together. I've been in this space for about three months now, and I haven't really talked too much about it besides just like moving in, so I wanted to do this little dedicated video to the space. So this studio space is actually like a conglomerate of multiple studios in one. I'm part of this studio collective called Helvella Art, and we are about... how many people are there? I think there's around 20-ish artists in this space in Helvella. Each artist gets their own little cubicle, and this is my little cubicle, and it's right next to the windows. I chose this spot because it is the sunniest spot, which is, you know, it has its pros and cons, but my plants definitely love it here. I think the space is technically a warehouse, and we share this space with other studio collectives, like photographers and sculptors and all types of different artists here, so it's really interesting to be in a very creative space. And that's also the reason why it's rather noisy in here is because it is a warehouse base and we have air filters on 24 7. I love being part of Helvella. We are a very fun group of eclectic artists that host a few shows every once in a while. Before I moved in, I think Helvella has been around for about a year and a half now, so it's almost nearing two years. My space is around 8 by 10 and I feel like I've really grown to love this little cubicle of mine and I really decked it out in a way that's very personal to me and as you can see, I brought a lot of my plants. The space itself isn't too big, so there's not too many details to show you, but I will get on with showing you all the different aspects of my studio. But before that, I had a few announcements to make that I wanted to share. I've been kind of hinting at this, mostly towards my patrons and those of you on Instagram that follow me on Instagram, but I'm going to be having a big shop update for Halloween soon, and I'm really excited because, you know, I've made a lot of new stuff for the shop update, and also it's just like, you know, my favorite time of the year, so I'm trying to make it special. So I have a lot of like new products that came in, but actually it's just like three things total and a bunch of packaging and I wanted to show you guys. Let's start with this one over here. I started working with a new manufacturer and I'm making something really exciting. It's something that I haven't done before but I feel like it's like a good addition to what I have in the store already and they've sent in some samples just to see which ones I like more. Here it is. Here's the first look. So it is this satin silk scarf that I made with this fall pattern that I have been loving recently. And they sent me it in two different types of materials that are a little bit different than each other. And I decided to go with the less shiny one because I felt like that just matched the vibe of this piece more. But if you didn't know, this is actually a design I made about a year ago, which was actually an original painting of a coaster that I digitalized and then made into this print. I think the pattern itself turned out really lovely and I'm really happy to see it in this fabric form. Yay! Also, I feel like this would be a really lovely piece for the fall as like a headscarf or like a handkerchief, like a little tie around the neck, something to like accessorize bags or just like hang on your wall. So I'm very excited about this one and I'm really hoping that the manufacturer will get back to me about when the bulk shipment is coming out, but I'll be announcing this on my Instagram soon. Also the funniest thing about getting these samples in the mail was that for some reason the manufacturer sent me this beanie. And I don't know what this means or what it says, but it's kind of funny. Originally I thought it was because like they probably make beanies and wanted to send me like a sample of the types of beanies they made but it was just very random and they didn't really comment about it so I'm just confused. The funny thing is it doesn't even like really fit me well so if anyone wants a beanie you could DM me. Maybe. We'll see. Alright moving on we've got a few boxes here and I've got surprise surprise some more notepads made. This is a lot more boxes than I expected, but it does make sense because notepads are a lot bulkier. 
I haven't seen these yet. This is the first time I'm unboxing them and I'm pretty excited because I worked, ooh, I worked with this company before and they make some pretty nice notepads and I've got to say they look pretty good. Oh, so cute. Here they are. Here is the first design. It's kind of like a bunny web page. And then an even more fall based theme is the second one. To conclude this little unboxing section, I just have a few more boxes here. This kind of just includes like mailers and boxes for the new items that I'll be bringing to the shop. I'm still getting a lot of my mailers from Eco Enclose, which is, you know, a sustainable packaging brand. There we go bunch of padded mailers. I'm so excited for this update. I still have a few more things that I want to finish up and bring to the shop. A lot of things that I'm making in-house here and also things that I'm getting manufactured from elsewhere. I don't really have a tentative date for it yet but I will say it's this date on the screen. So please look forward to it. There's gonna be so much happening in the store. I feel like it's gonna be a labor of love, but it's gonna be so worth it. I also have a bunch of pop-up events coming up. This is all the info here. That's also where I'll be having all the new products in person. So if you wanna say hi, come to these events. Speaking of shop update, let's hear from today's sponsor. Hmm. It's future Vicky here. I just wanted to quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. So when it comes to shop updates, it also means updating websites and also updating my Patreon secret shop. I've been using Squarespace for many years now, ever since college where I started with my art portfolio and now I use it for my professional portfolio and also my Patreon secret shop. What's great about Squarespace is that they have a variety of templates for you to choose from to start designing your own website. And also I love how creative and customizable their templates are to create your website of your dreams. With my portfolio, I really love that Squarespace provides a lot of customization and tools to make your perfect website that is unique to yourself. It really conveys my type of artistic style and vision and voice and it's a beautiful portfolio overall. I've also been getting into their e-commerce with my Patreon secret shop recently and I love the back-end tools of being able to sell online and also in person. You can check out squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash thanks you for 10% off your first purchase of your website or domain. Thanks so much again to Squarespace and now back to the tour. Well. <laughs> Welcome to Helvella. This is our little gallery space and I can't show you too much of this, but if you're interested in the shows, come out to our shows in person. We have opening nights for galleries every like six weeks or so. Every show is very cool and unique. This one is actually based on mushrooms, which is like a pretty fun topic and theme that I'm pretty into. And I wish I was in this show, but I just didn't have enough time to enter, which was pretty unfortunate. This is the front entrance space where we gather there we have like communal meetings over there at the kitchen table. It's a very cute space and I'm definitely getting more introduced into the fine art world in understanding how galleries work and how I work them. <laughs> And over here is our lounge. My studio mate Felicia was the main one who decorated the space and there are art pieces up here from multiple artists that are in the studio and also friends of the studio. I look like I'm on a TV set or anything, but this is the lounge. It is a lot more quiet in this corner of the studio than say closer to where I am because it is noisy where the windows are. But this is a nice place to just take a break, relax a little bit, and a lot of studio mates here actually play instruments. This is my friends right here. I forgot what this is called. I think it's like a cigar box, guitar or ukulele, but yeah, some people here are also talented in other ways artistically where they play music and have little jam sessions which is really cool <laughs> hello this is something that only came to the studio recently but this is part of the mushroom show that we just had and it's a mushroom photo op i think four of my studio mates worked on this project together and it's like 
a very cute 3D, 2D experience and it really makes for the best photos. My favorite parts are definitely the little mushrooms made out of styrofoam that are 3D. I really love the way that they interact with the moss and how colorful they are. This is the second hall where we have even more studios and where my studio is over here, this way. I think the most important part of an art studio or creative environment is definitely the desk space. So welcome to my main desk out of the two desks that I have in this space. It's pretty cute. I have some decor on the walls and I'm trying to display more of my own art on the walls including all the stickers I've designed and maybe trying to start like a collage of all the prints that I've done throughout the years because there have been so many. I really love my desk space and I would say I think my plants are loving it as well. They are coming back from a little bit of a thrips infection or infestation and it's been going well especially transferring them to this space where they're getting a lot more light and humidity. On my desk I have space for some of my inventory and also more just like open space for me to paint and work and do whatever I need for the day. Over here I've got prints nicely organized by this IKEA organizer and then I have a bunch of like knickknacks on top. Moving on, this is my primary wall where I keep all my inventory and all my important shit. So with the way that this studio is laid out, one wall is all window and the other wall is this wall. So it kind of lends itself to me just decorating this side of the wall and keeping the other side more free and open so that it's not super cluttered in the space. This shelf here is where I keep the majority of my inventory along with some of my packaging materials like envelopes lobes and a glassine bag just for easy access. I've kind of made it a point to try to get very cute storaging units for this shelf just because it's very like open space so it's a lot of like room to just express myself a little bit more with a little bit of color and you know style. I've gotten this question a few times but this is an IKEA shelf that is actually just like a gardening shelf metal that I spray painted into three different colors and it works out pretty well. It kind of looks like, I don't know, clown core, but I like it. <laughs> On top of my shelf, I have some beautiful plants here. This is my Gloriosum. She's growing rather nicely and I didn't realize that she was like a ground trailing plant so for the longest time I was actually trying to propagate her up on like a moss pole and that didn't work out really well so now she's kind of just doing this and she's just doing her own thing. I've also got a playa up here and some shipping labels and packaging stickers because they're pretty heavy so this is just like the best place for them so far. Right next to my main inventory shelf I have this cart that I've had for many years now that I call my sticker cart. This is where I keep majority of my stickers in these plastic bins. I got these bins from Miniso years ago and I feel like they still have these divider bins but I'm not entirely sure but they've been very helpful for keeping my inventory neat and tidy. The more I go on making stickers every year the more boxes I have to buy so I think I might have to go make a run and get more of these boxes soon. So moving on, here is kind of like the edge of where my studio ends and where another studio begins. But I just wanted to see kind of like show the little contrast of like how each space differs, which is pretty cool. So on this edge, I kind of just have like my business cards for people who come in during opening gallery nights. And because we have opening gallery nights, I have a little bit of my work displayed for people to see and because you know, I don't have enough of my own art on my walls, so this is the beginning. So over here is my first piece that I ever did for one of the Helvella shows. It, it was for the show called Pride is Not a Crime, which is for Pride Month. And this is a really good piece that I feel like was, you know, very special for me. And then underneath I have a little shelf with some small things, some two prints I have so far, but these two prints are actually going to go out to my patrons soon. And so are these other paintings on the wall. These are also going out to patrons, but for now they're just used as a bit of decor. 
And then rounding off this little corner is my printer. This is my printer shelf. I've had it for many years and I've had it ever since I went to college and it's still surviving, which is good to know. And it's on my little printer shelf where I keep a lot of my utilities and tools, you know, small tool things that you don't want to kind of like see around all the time. I also have a variety of stamps and different products for shipping and all that. And then rounding off the mini studio tour is this table here, which is kind of like my miscellaneous table. It is the one right next to the windows, so it's not the best spot to put a lot of my inventory or anything that, because I don't want things to get sun damaged. So instead, I use this as like a covering for all of my other things under the table. This is like the belly of the beast where I don't show too much of this all the time, but here is the rest of my inventory. A lot of these things include things that I just haven't used yet to decorate this space yet, like little, you know, fairy lights or just um, the rest of my art market and convention inventory, which are just in these like big suitcase boxes. And then as for the rest of the table, it's just kind of covered in fake plants and real plants and a little bit of my art market decor. All right, that includes all of the tour of my studio. This is definitely my favorite corner. It is the most complete corner. It's not crazy detailed because it is only like an eight by 10 space, but I feel like I made it home and that's what matters most. It's been really wonderful being in the studio and I'm really looking forward to starting packing as I get on with the shop update next month. So let's see how that goes in this space. I hope you had a wonderful time watching this video, spending your time and your day with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video where I'll be updating the shop and doing a lot of shop work. Bye-bye! <laughs>